Throughout my time here in Asia, I probably have stayed in over 30 different hostels. And this one, I would say, is in the top three. finally leaving crazy Patong and headed back to Old Town Phuket because that is the only way that we can go back to Bangkok. So we're going to stay one night in Old Town again and something I want to mention is that if you want to go from Patong to Old Town Phuket, you can catch this little public transportation system here which is the cheapest way. It only cost me 60 baht and it's taking us to the Old Town Phuket because the only other option is getting either a taxi or a little tuk-tuk and that's about 500 to maybe 700 baht so just keep that in mind and the way that I found this bus was actually through Google Maps I went on Google Maps and it told me at what time the public bus picks you up alright we have arrived it took about an hour and 20 minutes to get here so it was quite a while but it wasn't bad it was a smooth ride now we're headed to probably the most fanciest hostel I have stayed here in Thailand or could be Southeast Asia. I only have one night here so I said screw it. Let's stay in the most expensive hostel and the best reviewed hostel in Old Town Phuket. And how convenient, look just in front of it, there's a whole night market here where they have tons of food. Oh, coconut would be nice right about now. And wow, only 35 baht for a fresh coconut. It's cool and that whole street over there is full of more food. We might come check it out later. We have checked into the hostel, guys. Wow, I've never seen something like it. First of all, there's a freaking slide inside here. Check it out. So the, we're on the second floor and it goes down to the first floor but I don't know why it's not on right now or it's been covered up by this glass so I'm not sure maybe it's just for show but from what you can tell it's very big spacious very well kept and modern and now I can understand the price I can understand why this is a price because it's something I have never seen before so check it out it's only for I think four people but it's kind of like a little loft kind of hostel. So here's the bottom bunk. And then my, mine says up here, I'll show you in a sec. But basically you get a key where you have a locker and in the locker you have your towel, your pillow, and your doona. So it's, everything is nice and clean. This is the toilet right here very big spacious clean and it looks like it has everything that you need yeah look look how like brand new and modern this is you have soap and shampoo as well and up here we have my room so this is my bed right here which is pretty cool I just need to put my pillow and my doona up here, but you have two charging ports right there, a light, a little stand, and you have privacy here if you don't want anyone to bother you in your little room. Which is really, really good. Damn. So you kind of have your own big space. I've never seen something like this, guys. It's really cool. You also have hangers here to hang your towel and your clothes. So yeah, I'm really happy with this place, guys. I wasn't expecting something so awesome. Like usually when the hostels are more expensive, you're more paying for the amenities that it comes with than really for a better room overall. But yeah, this one seems to have everything. So right here, this is the entrance, the slide I was speaking of. As you can see, very nice, clean, welcoming. They also have a pool table here, which is cool. Um, tons of information for tours and things to do around the area. You have a little library here where there's tons of books. I'm not a reader, but 
Yeah, you also have a little kitchen, which is nice. Look at that. You can, I, think, I think it does include breakfast, if I'm not wrong, but usually the breakfast is just toast and jam. Um, but we'll figure that out later. And this is the nice part of this area. Oh. So it looks like this is a little bar. Oh. This is the pool. Oh. It's epic. Oh, How cool. How chill. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yeah, this is cool, guys. And actually, I think um, these rooms right here have access to the pool, and they're more like the private rooms. And if you're, if you want to have a single room for yourself, what's very convenient as well is that we have the limelight mall right in front of the hostel and in this like limelight mall there's everything that you actually need there's actually a little food court that i ate at in one of my recent videos it was the first video actually here in thailand and they have some great food for very affordable prices you have a pharmacy in here there's different types of shops upstairs there's a mcdonald's and then they have this big supermarket over here uh, where you can get all your essentials and whatever you need so it's in a very, very good location, I have to admit. And I just feel very safe and everything's so clean and new here. So yeah, so far the hostel has been great. I, uh, I went outside, did a little bit of exercise, then I went into the pool, then I took a shower, and seriously, it's one of the most comfortable hostels I have stayed in because of the fact that you have your own space in the room, it's not so cramped. Everything is nice and clean, the showers are clean, and I have nothing really bad to say. Besides the fact that they give you a room key, so unless you have the room key inside your room uh, and inside next to, in, inside the little socket next to your bed, the light shuts off and um, the aircon shuts off. So it kind of sucks because I like to leave my laptop and my power banks charging and unless I have that card in there, it doesn't charge. But other than that, everything is great, everything is cool, and there's still quite a good vibe in there. There's a lot of young people hanging out, uh, and what I like about this hostel is that it's not only for young people, but I see a lot of older, um, more mature people because of the fact that it's a lot more private than the normal hostels that I've been to. So we're going to come in here, we're going to get something to drink, and then we're going to go to the night markets and have ourselves a little feast. I got myself a Heineken tall beer for 60 bucks. So in these markets, guys, you're gonna find plenty of food, like all types of stuff. You got fruits, sushi, skewers. They have these actually roasted barbecue potatoes with cheese and different type of toppings inside that I've actually tried before in Patong and they're amazing. Uh, tons of fried chicken, dude. Look at this fried chicken. Holy crap. Wow. And from the prices of Patong to here, dude, it's actually like half the price here. I'm really impressed. They also have a lot of clothes and uh, accessories like normally the night markets. There's also live music going on. It's a good environment and it's right in front of the hostel. It's so convenient. Hello, I'm back. How are you? Okay, um, I want to buy five socks. Yes, um, I think maybe I can mix. Yes, oh, thank you so much. Okay. Um, how do I know my size? They're all from the same size? Okay, cool. I just get like like this one. This one. This yeah, I think this is a good these one. Yeah, yeah, I was exercising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Oh, 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 you remember me? I remember you. <laughs> What's your name? Beer. Beer. Beer? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Beer. So you got beer? Ah, I like you. You're so funny. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. are so sweet. So you guys can see the Thai life is easy. These socks are the good quality. They're good quality for only 100 baht. I think it's a great price. Okay, let's have something to eat now. Hello. I want to try. Is this just um? What what's this? Is it like uh, spicy powder, like KFC style? Oh, okay. KFC style. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll have one. Um, can I try one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't need it. I can just eat it like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, you could just grab it, eat it. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. All right, let's try it. It's spicy? Not spicy. Not spicy, okay. My own cheese. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, bro. This is better than KFC. Yeah. Better, better than KFC. So <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. It's crispy. Mm. It's crispy more than the KFC. Mm. Delicious. Oh, the cheese. Oh, mm. Come on. Oh, so good. Mm, thank you. Mm. I recommend maybe you can try this one. Try this one? Yeah. Is it spicy? A little bit spicy. Um, okay. Mm. Oh, this one not spicy. What's this one? This is like a Japanese soya sauce. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How much is each one? It's a 15 baht. 15 baht? Oh my god, okay, let's try another one. Okay. You, you can't try this. It's very hot. Oh, it's so hot. No, no, let me get this one here. Um, do you have um, some more I can throw this away? Yeah. Oh, here? Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Right, let's try this one. Got 15 baht? Look at this deliciousness, baby. We don't even have to go to the table. Just grab it off there and she hooks it up. Mm. God, look how much fucking chicken is in there. Wow. Mm. This is good. Mm. Yeah. It's um it's like a honey soy sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay guys, that was amazing for our first meal. And actually she educated me that these markets are only open Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So keep that in mind. Um, can I get one bacon skewer? One bacon? Yeah, can I try one? Thank you, brother. Okay, let me get to it, let me get to it, let me get to it, yeah. Thank you, ooh, look at that. Damn. Thank you. Two little bacon skewers for 20 bucks, man. And look at them, bacon. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's spicy tomato and a pineapple at the end. Mm. Oh, holy shit. Wow, bro. It puts this barbecue sauce on it. Wow. And it's real bacon, like crispy, well cooked bacon on the grill, dude. But, mm. Wow. You know why I love the market so much? Because if we go to a restaurant, you order one meal and like, just have that one meal. And this is quite not the variety that you're looking for here you just try so much stuff or so cheap mm. Mm. oh oh man mm. it tastes like a pizza because you have the bacon then you have i think that's capsicum with tomato and then pineapple at the end wow ah mm. 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 oh my god mm. Mm. Wow. That definitely over exceeded my expectations. Damn, look at the desserts, dude. Jesus Christ. And also, look at that, dude. You can get a burger with fries for only 50 baht. Um, that's so affordable. That's so affordable. I'm not gonna get that because then I won't be able to eat anything else. I won't have like little things here and there to show you guys what's available, but you can get pad thai and all the Thai dishes for 60 baht, dude. 60 baht, that's so cheap. Would you like some spaghetti? Oh no, I'm okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. It's so affordable. So affordable. Wow. Oh, look at the skewers. Pork satay skewers. Florica. Oh, damn. They have hot dogs too. And they got fresh fruit for 20 baht, dude. They have everything. Watermelon, pineapple, papaya, apples, grapes. I think that's peas dragon fruit melon that's the thing about thailand guys that i haven't seen in other countries it's just a variety of vegetables and fruits at your disposal and it's just amazing it's just amazing oh they have keg i saw that they were selling big chugs of beer hello oh damn you can get a whole jug for 200 baht huh yeah wow interesting no i'm okay i'm okay i'm just explaining i'm just explaining thank you thank you thank you yeah yeah cool Oh, look at the fish, bro. Damn. Oh my god, the squid is only 25 baht. 
Oh, dude, look at this. You got chicken intestines, chicken tail, chicken skin, chicken stomach. Whoa, they got the whole, the whole type of chicken in here. Chicken wingtip, wow. And the chicken breast for 15 bucks. Can I get two chicken breasts? Can I get two chicken breasts? Thank you. And then after this, we'll get some dessert, which I already have in my eye on a dessert that I've been, ooh, I'm like, damn, I've never seen this before. I wouldn't try that. Okay, we got our chicken breast here. Is there in this little awesome wrap? I've never seen that before. Only 30 bucks for both of them. And ooh, oh, look at these, bro. Bam. This is a homie on the right here. Bro. Look how perfectly grilled it is. Amazing, bro. Amazing. Bro. Not a tendon or a bone in there. Straight up chicken breast. Wow. Incredible, dude. Incredible. I'm so happy, dude. This is amazing. Oh, my God. It's worth every single cent. Mm. Bro. Legit, bro. I'm so full. I'm so full. I'm so full. Look at that. They're, they're handing you napkins. Nicest people, bro. Thank you. Thank you. They were here so nice. Mm. Mm. And I still got this big one right here. I'm going to finish this. And let's go try some dessert. And that's it. Because, guys, I cannot fit anymore. Not anymore. As much as I would love to, I can. I gotta admit, out of everything that I've had, my favorite ones are these chicken breast skewers. My God, so tasty, so much meat and protein inside, and everything was just flawless, dude, flawless. Dessert-wise, guys, there's everything out here. They have like brownies, cupcakes, um, fruits, obviously, but this is what I found that I'm like, what the fuck is this? It is jelly coated fruit. I've never seen something like it. Like it's grapes, but it's jelly coated. So let's give it a try. Um, can I have one? Yeah, one. Let me try one. One of these. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, um, let's see what this is about. Yeah. 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 Oh my god! What is this? What what is this? Uh, jelly. <laughs> jelly meat food. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Wow, this uh, is so inside, interesting. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh, oh. Samuska's grapes, okay. These are really good grapes, but it's it's interesting because it's coated in some type of sugar, but then you have the grape inside, it's, it's delicious. Oh, it's okay, I got it. I got it, I got it. Mm, okay. <laughs> mm. Wow. It's really good, I like this. Um, how much, how much is this? 35 baht, okay, no problem, all right. Thank you so much. And um, all of them 35 baht? Yes. Oh, three for 100 baht, okay, okay. Thank you so much, thank you, Kapuka. Okay. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. No, no, you work so hard. Come on, you work so hard. Here, here, here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, and she has these little brownies. Look how cute these are. They're 50 baht, and then she has smaller brownies. Okay, I want to try one of these. These are kind of cute. Okay, uh, let me get the little flower one. Can I try one? Can I try one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this. Wow, look how tiny they are. They're so cute. <laughs> You make these? Yeah, you, you make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, guys. You see, here in Thailand, they don't have crazy big sizes. They just have enough so you can have a good time and just enjoy it. Oh, bro. I've had my fair share of brownies in Asia, and they always taste more like cake than brownies, but this one is real brownie very soft buttery bro real fucking brownies tastes like american brownies man uh, mm, wow 
good. That's so good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. And it's perfect. Oh, I'm so tempted to get the big brownie now. Damn. Oh man. <laughs> right, guys, that was the night markets, man. I'm telling you, I'm completely stuffed, but so good, so awesome. The people have been so nice, so friendly, and so affordable, guys. So affordable. I know you guys said that Phuket, Thailand is expensive. It can be, it's up to you, but if you come to places like this, it's actually really, really cheap. Um, so let me know down below what you guys think. What did you guys think about that hostel? What did you think about these night markets? I'll see you in the next one. Can you tell the Bye.